a little bit of a lag, but I think we're good. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We've got another lesson. I hope you guys are excited for another joke. Boop -boop. Okay, so uh, today's joke is, why was the triangle never good at sports? Because he could never hit the right angle. Ah, right angle triangles. Whatever. Some of you say, well, that joke doesn't make sense, but I think it makes sense. So I'm going to laugh at that one. Okay. Today, another quick lesson should be fairly easy. Um, but we've got this lesson here and it's called the converse of Pythagoras's theorem. Now, some of you guys are thinking converse. Why, what has shoes got to do with Pythagoras theorem? First of all, it's got everything to do with shoes. Second of all, it's not talking about the shoes. Uh, it's talking about um, basically how we use the Pythagoras theorem. So we're actually going to use it to test um, if a right uh, to see if a triangle is right angled or if it's not. Um, that's all it is. We're trying to use the the formula to try to prove something. Now, hopefully you guys remember what's Pythagoras's theorem again. It is a squared plus b squared equals to c squared. Okay, where c is always going to be the longest side, or in other words, we're trying to make that the hypotenuse. Hopefully you guys remember that. That's one of the things that even if you're an adult and you're out of school and you never touch math again, you will remember a squared plus b squared. Oh yeah, c squared. Um, now just to show you what the questions may look like, they'll look a little bit like this. They'll ask you to determine or basically find out if the following triangles are right angled or not. And again, we're going to use our formula to try and see if this works. So we've got a squared plus b squared equals the c squared. The thing that I want to know is what's my longest side. Okay, it's going to be that guy, All right? 10 is going to be my longest side. So that means I should get 6 squared plus 8 squared should equal to the longest side, which is 10 squared. Now let's just double check. What is 6 squared? Well, it's 6 times 6, and that gives me 36. Hopefully you guys remember what those squares mean. And then 8 to the power of 2 or 8 squared. Some people will say 16 and I will tell you that you are wrong. <laughs> 8 squared is 8 times 8 and that is 64. And then 10 squared again is 10 times 10 and that should be 100. Now let's just double check. What is 36 plus 64? I can hear the math working in your brain. It is 100. Now note how this works. So therefore this triangle is right angled. Right? If your equation works, if your Pythagoras theorem checks out, that means it is right angled. Let's do another example. All right, so for question B, we've got, this time they don't draw a picture for us, okay? Now, normally in the picture above, they probably won't give you that little square, so I've just gotten rid of it, and they'll just get you to prove. Now, it looks like it, but we can never really test, um, except by using the formula. So again, here, can I see what my longest side is? Okay, my longest side here is it's looking to be that 13. So if I was to use my Pythagoras theorem, it would say that the two shorter side squared, so 5 squared plus 12 squared should equal to 13 squared. Now let's just test it. 5 squared is 5 times 5, and that's 25. All right, 12 squared, hopefully you guys know what 12 times 12 is. If not, it's 144. And then 13 squared, you can use your calculators, but I know it's going to be 169. Now, let me just add up what I what have on the left-hand side. 25 plus 144. Surprise, surprise, it's actually 169. Now, see how these two equal the same thing? That means that this triangle, 5, 12, 13, is right-angled. Now, how do I know if it's not right-angled, you ask? Well, <laughs> lucky for you, I've thought of that. Let's look at a triangle. Uh, let's go for this one here. Now, again, I probably shouldn't have drawn that little square, so I'm going to get rid of it because we don't know yet whether it's a right angle triangle or not. But here, let's take a look. I can see that, okay, seven is obviously my longest side. And let's just check it. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for, okay, my two shorter sides, four squared plus five squared should give me seven squared. Okay, now let's just test it. What is seven squared? Well, that's 49. What's four squared? That's 16. What's five squared? That's 25. And let's just double check. What's 16 plus 25? You do the math, that should be 41. 
and then 7 squared we already knew was 49. Now see how 41 is not the same thing as 49, right? This one doesn't add up. There's something that's gone wrong. So here we can say that therefore this triangle is not right angle. All right, I'll keep it nice and short for today. Um, hopefully that helps out with your exercises. Um, just remember the important thing is the longest side first and then using the formula and just trying to see if it holds up. If it works, then it's good. It's a right angle triangle. If it doesn't work, then it's not right angle. Hopefully that helps for your exercises and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.